Now you know how much of just fiends for football we all can be sometimes. Especially at this point of the off season. Because stuff is super, super slow. And now it's just that, that build up, that anticipation build up to when we're gonna see the team in pairs again, when they get the training camp and all that. Because of course the rookies, they report, I wanna say it's on July 18th, don't quote me on that. And then I think the veterans, Everybody comes through a week later on July 25th, I believe. Again, don't quote me on those dates, but I believe those are the ones. But anyway, um, we're just waiting for something. Waiting for something. But uh, Lamar Jackson, Odell Beckham Jr., uh, they both talked about it in the most recent presses that they had, that they would be getting together down in South Florida and working out with each other and whatnot. And so far... And they said some other guys will show up too. So, so far from what we've seen, what we've seen, Lamar Jackson and Zay Flowers, are oh, they are. I mean, and it's easy for both of them to be in South Florida because they're both from South Florida or whatnot. Shout out to the both of them, man. But um, it, 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 it's nice, man, because this, like, offseason, uh, Lamar Jackson, the, the weapons that he has, pretty much... Everybody that he's going to be throwing to, minus Rashad Bateman and Mark Andrews, but as far as the receivers, most of the guys that he's going to be throwing to are brand new. They're brand new. Like, the returning guys are Rashad Bateman and Devin DuVernay. Those are the guys that are essentially locks right now to return. But other than that, Odell Beckham Jr., Zay Flowers, Nelson Aguilar, and of course from all those reports that we heard from the minicamp, Seems like Lamar and Nelson Aguilar got a little connection right now. So that's a beautiful thing. And we hope that that continues and that advances and it just keeps on getting better and better. And, I mean, as a matter of fact, they were already working out together before the minicamp. Remember that? Remember the, 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 the pictures and videos that came out with Lamar Jackson and Nelson Aguilar down in South Florida? Where, so they, they already done, got their, their, their time in, too. But I expect them to get more. But it's even though it's not a requirement that Lamar and the receivers they work out together because this is their off season. Like this is when they get a break and they deserve their break. Like football players, they put in a lot of time every single year. And like that's a lot of work, man. It's a whole lot of work. So this is not something that they have to do, but the fact that they are doing it is just a beautiful thing. And something that we should keep in mind too because I know a lot of people get worked up every year. They they look at these pictures and videos that players will put out and whatnot. And some fans will see some players in certain pictures and videos and they'll see that some players are not there. And they're like, oh, why is that player not there? That player is not getting close with the team. That player is not working out. Terrible teammate. Da -da 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 -da. And it's like, mm, well, remember, social media is only what people allow you or want you to see. Social media is not 100% of people's lives. It's only a small section of it. So if, if there is a player that you do see or that you don't see uh, in the video or in the picture or whatnot, it does not mean that they're not working. And, they, they <laughs> and that could be on the flip side too because there can be a player that you do see in a picture or video. It's, it's so easy. Like, I could do it myself and fool a lot of people. I could take a picture or video of myself with weights, just, just lifting weights like that. Five second video, 10 second video, and I could caption it, hey, getting it in. And people could think, oh man, he's really working out. He's crushing it in the gym right now. And I, I could just do that for those five, 10 seconds and put him right down, go back to eating a chicken sandwich. And that would be that. So social media, like you can manipulate it so easily. And that's what uh, you see a lot of people do, but that's a whole other subject for another day. But um, just because you see somebody, or just because you don't see somebody, doesn't mean you know 100% of what's going on. But anyway, back to the subject at hand. Uh, Lamar Jackson and Zay Flowers getting it. And shout out to Spence Fit, because they were working with him. So shout out to him. Uh, Got to give him his, uh, his credit as well. So they, they had the video of them working out on the beach. And you know the beach, like... First off, the South Florida sun, and if any of y'all done been down here before, the sun is, it's, it's real deal, as you all know. I mean, the Florida sun in general, but the South Florida sun, it, it ain't nothing like it. But to be working out on the beach, like, that really works your body that much more. Um, especially to be running in the sand, because you can run on concrete, you can run on dirt, 
you can run on gravel, you can run on all that stuff, but to run in the sand, the sand actually requires more of your body. I ain't, I ain't no health guy, nothing like that. We just know from experience. The sand requires more of your body to, to just run through it. Because it's almost like when you step in the sand, your feet are like sinking. So you it, it, it requires more effort and more work to get your feet up every time you take a step or every time you run and whatnot. So I'm excited, man. I'm excited, and I'm, even if they ain't putting no video out of them working out, I'm still excited for this season just to see what these guys do because it's all brand new. It's all brand new. A brand new wide receiver core, brand new offense, um, and it's just, this, this is why it was so important that the Ravens got the deal done early because I was really scared that this thing could get really ugly. There were some times where it did get ugly. Um, but I was scared that this thing, if, if they didn't get it done, it could linger and it just, it would not be good. But they got it done right before the draft, got that taken care of, and that allowed Lamar to be at the mini camp and all that stuff. And now he's going to be at training camp, so he ain't got to worry about no holdout or none of that. He ain't got to worry about none of that stuff. That's all like, all bad situations, they, they, they avoid it now. We ain't got to worry about it. So this just them working out together. This is a small start to a large piece of the puzzle, um, and it's nice. It, it, it's, it's nice. Um, Odell Beckham Jr. I'm sure we'll start to see videos of him down there soon. We did see a, a, a video, a picture of him. I think he was with DJ Khaled as I'm playing golf in Miami. So he, he's right around the corner. So I'm sure him and Lamar they'll link up. So, and you know, like Odell, you know Odell gonna post it for sure. Cause Odell like. He is the most popular guy on the Ravens. And Ravens realize that. Ravens know that. Um, they, they realize, like, hold up. We, we got Odell Beckham. Like, sometimes when I think about that, like, man, they got Odell Beckham Jr. Odell Beckham, the same Odell Beckham. Obviously, one hand, Odell Beckham Jr. But Odell Beckham Jr., who is literally everywhere. Everywhere with everybody. And he, he looks like he likes being out. You know, Lamar, he don't really like being out like that. But Odell Beckham Jr. likes being out like that. So, hey man, he's a, he's a Baltimore Raven. So, I mean, it's just it's just fitting. It, it makes too much sense that the Ravens win the Super Bowl this year. Like, why not? Like, for real, man. But anyway, um, these boys getting it in now, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing, and it just gives us a glimpse of what it could be like uh, in a couple of months. It is uh, the end of June right now. It's the end of June, and training camp is at the end of July. And then there's gonna be preseason. Then the season will be here before you know it. I was just talking to my guy, Sick Kicks uh, Global, and I, he was telling me, he's like, man, he can't wait for the season to start. And I was like, yeah, I mean, I'm excited for it, but I'm enjoying the slow time. I love it. I'm enjoying it, it's, it's relaxing, and you get to chill before everything gets a little loopy. So, yeah, but anyway, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Shout out to Lamar. Shout out to Zay. Shout out to just all the Ravens offense who are going to be working together because chemistry is real, man. Chemistry is important. Building rapport is important. But it's just as important to have it on the field as it is off the field, too. Because if you have it off the field, then that makes the on field chemistry that much better. Ask Lamar in Hollywood. Ask them. When the last time that he had a had a receiver where he had that like that chemistry with like that. Ask Lamar and Mark Andrews. But if we speaking just receiver, Lamar and Hollywood, they had it. They had it. Big time. They really did. And, and in my opinion, I don't think Lamar has had it with another receiver like he had it with Hollywood. I remember mean, them boys used to always come into the games together and stuff, ride around on the go-kart and all that. And there was a little, little, little period of time where they weren't coming into the games with each other. A little, 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 little animosity, but they got past that and uh, they started coming back to the games together and all that. They they were locked in, man. So, if Lamar can build up that chemistry, do what it takes to build up that chemistry with the other guys, too. I'm not saying that it's going to be like that with every single receiver. It'd be nice if it is. Hey, we ain't going to be mad. But if he can build that up, uh, and he, I think he had really good chemistry with, with Rashad Bateman, too. I do. And it was weird, because I remember when Rashad Bateman, first, in his rookie year, I was thinking, all right, he done missed all this time. Uh, he gonna, it, it, him and Lamar going to be off. Nope. They were on, like, from jump. 
So whatever they worked on when they did get to work together in Rashad Bateman's rookie season, uh, and all the time that he missed with his injury, when he came back, him and Lamar, they they had it, man. They had it. So I'm looking forward to that too. That just that chemistry increasing, that bond increasing, that rapport increasing. So this this should be a real fun season, man. Again, as long as they can get through what's been their biggest enemy in health, Ravens got it. Yeah, this feels like a dream. Shout out to Graven.